do this, so, uh, all right, let's get started. So, here we go. And we'll pick up more people as they come along. I only need to host 3,000 more games to break that witch's curse. Four players, finally a barbershop quartet for me to manage. We'll discuss my fee after the game. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's play. All right. This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. All right, I Time get to, to pick, pick the category. first uh, category, okay. Uh, butt injuries, here we go. All right, question one. Talk about a weird injury. In 1923, Boston Red Sox player Clarence Levin cut his butt cheek open when he slid into second with blank in his pocket. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that might just fool your fellow players into thinking it's the truth. If you can't think of anything, that lie for me button will give you a suggestion for half the points. Do it. Okay, got mine in. Waiting on the other people. Two more people, come on in. There we go. One more, one more. Hurry, hit the live for me button if you can't think of oh, something. Oh, somebody, I think somebody dropped out. Oh no. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, I think somebody dropped out. All right, now find the truth and select it on your device. Okay, in 1923, Boston Red Sox player Clarence Blevin uh, cut his butt cheek open when he slid in a second with blank in his pocket. Uh, is it Metal Jacks? Is it a can of tobacco dip? Uh, tobacco, his false teeth, or a snuff can? I'm gonna say that. Uh, I'm sorry. Somebody, I think somebody dropped out on us. Let's see how things shook out. Okay, is it a can of tobacco dip? That was Rab's lie. Is it a snuff can? No, that was Volpina's lie. You might have left, yeah. False teeth. say it really bit him in the ass, but, well, too late. <laughs> okay. Select the category. Okay, this, this person must have left, so no automatic pick the category. Let me help with that. Kale demand, okay. Okay, focus up. Before it became a huge foodie trend in 2013, the largest buyer of kale was surprisingly blank. Look, here's teeth in the back okay, pocket. And your lies. Before it became a huge uh, foodie trend in 2013, the largest buyer of kale was surprisingly, uh, Let's see. Presently blank. Yeah, who does carry um to or false teeth in their in their back pocket? Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Yeah. Alright, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Alright, where's the truth? Okay, 
Before it became a huge foodie trend in 2013, the largest buyer of kale was surprisingly... Pizza Hut, Hipsters, Queen Elizabeth, Home Depot, Dave & Buster's. <laughs> uh, let me say that. That make that sort of makes sense. All right. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth or Dayton Busters. <laughs> oh, Depot. Oh boy. All right. New pick to what? Okay, is it Dayton Busters? No, that was the game's lie. Where, where? Is it Pizza Hut? Yeah, it was Pizza Hut. They used it as decoration on the salad bars. Yep. The that classic buffet. Yep. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Sit tight a sec. I gotta check my feed. Celebrity Tweet. Cher tweeted on August 18th, 2012. What's going on with blank? Write your lies now. The fuck Pizza Hut? Uh, yeah. Pizza Hut is gross now. I mean, it's it has been for like the past like 10 years. They got my answer in. Okay, there we go. There's all th all three answers, and also, Hurry, use the library if you leave a Jackbox thing, and and you're on a and you're on a stream, it's kind of rude. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Uh, okay, is what's going on with love, my career, climate change, Twitter, or the monarchy? And my career is all one word, so yeah, that was somebody's, that was somebody's answer. A lot of, uh... Queen Elizabeth uh, stuff going on here. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Is it climate change? No, that was the oh the audience lie. Oh, that was good. Is it is it the monarchy? No, that was my lie. Someone is on a British trend tonight. My career. I think Cher might have accidentally tweeted what she types into Ask Jeeves every morning. <laughs> okay, my career is one word. I thought that was somebody's actual, uh... <laughs> is it the monarchy? <laughs> Ooh, me and Arab are tied. Alright. Now for round two, where the stands are <laughs> <adult. laughs> Following Cher on Twitter. <laughs> All right, Rab, pick right, a category. A category. You're up. Pick a category, please. And oh. time's up. Okay. Let's I took a stab at it. Wedding presents don't have to be conventional. Beginning in 2017, engaged couples can now register for gifts at blank. Type in your lies now. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so beginning in 2017, engaged couples can now register for gifts at blank. Alright. Better not be Pizza Hut. <laughs> because that would be awkward. I mean, if you if you want to have pizza at your wedding, awesome. Finish quick, or just hit the live for me button. <laughs> Oh, Peanut, please don't register your, your, your gift ideas at Pizza Hut, please. 
Okay, look for the truth and pick it. <laughs> okay, uh, beginning in 2017, engaged couples can now register for gifts at Home Depot, Hot Topic, Domino's, Amazon, or the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> okay. Uh, better not be Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. Is it Home Depot? <laughs> that was my line. <laughs> Callback. Is it a hot topic? <laughs> Rab's line. Well, there it is. Perfect for the couple who's no, already it's Domino's. Going. What the fuck? Oh my god! Are you serious? It's freaking Domino's. <laughs> All right, well, Peter, okay, pick, pick a category. Oh, please pick Little Britain. Please pick Little Britain. <laughs> Shoddy principles. Okay, here's your question. After making a racist comment during a high school graduation in 2015, a Georgia principal apologized but blamed the incident on blank. Answer your lies now. Okay, after making a racist comment during a high school graduation in 2015, Where's your principal apologize but blame the incident on... Hang on. I got something for this. <laughs> oh. A suggestion if you okay, okay. This is gonna be silly. <laughs> okay, seek the truth. Uh, okay. After making a racist comment during a high school graduation in 2015, a Georgia principal apologized but blamed the incident on his wife, the devil, ghosts, his diabetes medicine, and her little Caesars. <laughs> Oh, better not be Little Caesars. <laughs> I'll register for the deep, <laughs> deep pan pizza with extra cheese at Domino's. Nice, do it, I dare you. <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? Is it his wife? No, that was Volpita's lie. Okay, good one. It's diabetes medicine. No, that was... <laughs> Rab's lie. Good one, Rab. Is it ghosts? No, that was the audience's lie. And you all missed it. Wah, wah. Okay, yeah, blame Tim Curry. <laughs> Little Caesars. Okay, category. we're gonna we're gonna go Little Britain. We gotta go Little Britain. We put run a little uh Now listen up. In London's Trafalgar Square, there is an ornamental light fixture that hides Britain's smallest blank. Alright, type in your lies. Well the devil did go down to Georgia. <laughs> True. Okay. In London's Trafalgar Square, there's an ornamental light fixture that hides Britain's smallest uh I'm gonna say that. Okay. All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry, hit the live for me button if you can't Come think on, of hurry something. hurry up, hurry up. Get it in there, get it in there. Get your answer in there. 
Okay, we got it in there. Everything's good. Okay. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay. Well, Mr. Fucker Scurs hides Britain's smallest grandfather clock, violin, trousers, police station, or naked statue. Oh, please don't let it be the naked statue. Uh, I'm gonna say that. Let's see what you guys picked. Okay, is it violin? No, that was my lie. Is it grandfather clock? No, that was Rab's lie. Okay. Is it police station? What? And inside that is Britain's smallest mouse detective, I assume. Oh yeah, the great mouse detective. <laughs> God, it's been forever since I saw that. Okay, here we go, the final fibbage. The final fibbage. It's your last chance at points, and it's worth triple. Domination. Great news. In March of 2017, Demeter Fragrance Library released their newest perfume, which smells like the blank of a blank. Type in your lies now. Okay. Okay. All right. In March of 2017, Demeter Fragrance Library, uh, Library released their newest perfume, which smells like the blank of blank, or blank of a blank. Your probably smells like chicken. Alright. Here we go! Okay, which one is the truth? Okay, the perfume smells like paw cushions of a poodle, fur of a kitten, fresh cut grass of a suburban lawn, armpits of a, cur of a current president, mullet of a comedian. <laughs> Detective Klaus must hide in there, yeah. Uh... I'll say Fervid Kitten. That makes the most sense to me. Okay. Okay. Here we go! Okay, let's take a look. Is it fresh cooked grass of suburban lawn? No, that was the audience lie. Is it mullet of a comedian? No, that was my lie. <laughs> that's, that's for you, Reb. Is it fur of a kitten? Oh, fur of a kitten, nice. Oh, sample, just sit on my aunt's couch for a few minutes. Ah, oh, Rab still won, even though I got the last one. <laughs> the mullet one is sus. <laughs> Who got the most likes? Oh, all three of us did. Alright, Rab. Rab. What game would you like next? Since you won, you get to pick the next game. It's gotta be a Jackbox game, though. Way to go, Rab. Yeah! Good job, Rab. Uh, champion drawing? You mean champed up? 
Are you talking about Champed Up? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, we can do Champed Up. Give me, give me, give me a minute. And I will have it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Uh, let me turn the music back on. Okay, uh, let's see. Champed up is party pack. Yeah, party pack seven. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's Jackbox party pack seven. Champed up. <laughs> Coming to you live from WKIF. The sound. Okay. Alright, let's do Champed Up. Okay. Let's make sure we got the settings in. Uh... Okay, uh, there we go. And okay, here we go. We got it up. Uh, Q S H N. All right, welcome to Champ Dub. Part of WKIF Radio, the sound. All right. The Unholy's here. Definitely. Yeah, who else we got? Okay. We got Volpina's in here. All right, good. Got enough players. Okay. Okay, we got three spots. Going once. Anybody, anybody. Anybody else want to jump in? Come on, we got plenty of spots left. Three spots left. Okay. Uh, three spots going twice. Anybody, anybody, anybody. Anybody else? Anybody else in chat? Uh... Unholy, definitely. If you guys want to, if you people want to say hi in chat, please do. Let us know you're in chat, and uh, we'll say hi. Keep the conversation going. Really nice. All right. Uh... Okay. Uh, three spots going three times later. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, welcome to the Jackbox stream, presented by WKIF, The Sound. Playing one arm tonight, so take it easy on me. Hey, hey, me too, me too. I, I have a, I have a, I have a one arm disability, so I, I feel you. I've been playing one arm my whole life, so I know exactly how you feel. Pinch nerve. Okay. Understood, understood. I can I can barely use my left hand, that's why I'm saying I just, So I have I have a I'm on my PC of course, and then I have my I have a browser tab open just for me, so Alright, um let's get started. That, yeah, that is definitely no fun at all. Welcome. 
Welcome to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up. Yeah, champed up. Roar. In this first step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and name a particular type of champion character. They'll be equipped with two tools, a pen for drawing and a thick marker for coloring in. Once a character is drawn and named, it can be submitted. The timer's been set. Off we go. All right. Now remember, please do not draw um, genitalia, butts, or anything of that nature. You know, nothing racist, nothing sexist. You know, try to keep it clean, but make it funny. Twenty seconds remain. Players need to name their character. Okay, got mine in. Got ten seconds left. Hurry up! 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 Get him in! 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 Right now! There we go. The trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdogs because their creators will see who they're competing against, but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's unique skill set to create what they hope is a worthy challenger. Let's see the drama unfold. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Right here. I got it.
Ah. It's time to name those characters. <laughs> okay, got mine in. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Five seconds left, five seconds left. I, it, I had to take my time doing my character. But here we go, all right. It's time for the main event. Here we go. Our first opponent enters the ring. Is it the Cowboy of Blue? We've got <laughs> Gary we Cooper Pooper. Battle to see who is the champion of Sticky. Uh oh. <laughs> Gary Cooper Pooper. Wow, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Come on, Gary Cooper. Come on, Gary Cooper. <laughs> Will they be able High to noon, everybody. This lead? Some extra cash goes to the underdog. Oh, it the cowboy won't come off. Come on, Gary Cooper Pooper. That was great. In this corner we've got. <laughs> They'll be facing call this, off against. Call the set king. <laughs> we decide once and for all who is. <laughs> The champion of the suburbs! Oh, jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Call the set king. The, receiving end of that blow. <laughs> the cowboy of glue, yeah. Jeez. Celebrated a nice, fast, casual restaurant. <laughs> now entering the ring. <laughs> One of them will be crowned the champion of bosses. Jeez, <laughs> CNN. <laughs> Sweet mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump takes down CNN. <laughs> yes, sir. Next up, it'll be versus Harry Potter and the missing paycheck. These two are facing the champion of trash. The champion of trash. <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, it's getting lopsided. Who put Harry Potter in a messy paycheck? <laughs> Just to try to assign a base. This is tough to watch. Got the tickler. <laughs> the tickler not amused. The champion of being the third wheel. Uh oh. I know what being the third wheel is all about. Yep, that was B. The kid gloves are off now. Oh boy. It's a tricycle. Hey, I have a tricycle for a bike. And that takes us to halftime. Here are the scores. Okay. <laughs> Imagine third wheel that wanted to tickle. Just tickle you. No, thank you. Okay.
Oh, you guys are gonna love me. <laughs> oh my god, my drawing. Alright, 40 seconds left. Less than 30 seconds. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. 20 second warning. Name those characters. <laughs> All right, now your challengers. Here we go. <laughs> oh God, how am I gonna? <laughs> okay, got mine in less than thirty seconds. Second warning. Sounds Name awkward. Yeah, it characters. does. Okay. Come on, 15 seconds. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get him in, get him in, get him in right now. Get him in, get him in, get him in right now. Get him in, get him in, get him in right now. Get him in. Please, right now. Get rep. Hurry up. Oh, Rab's a little bit too late. It's the second half, which means it's time for the tag teams. Each matchup will include a surprise contest where players can tag out their characters. The bonus points are doubled, and votes for both contests will be cumulative. Let's start things off with our first Nice. Two okay, good. <laughs> Casting couch. Who is the champion of dorks? Oh, jeez. It's 
a scroll brawl. I forgot the name. You gotta hit some. Yeah. It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. The champion of future theater majors. Will the trainers keep their characters or swap out? <laughs> also, they're tagging out. I said not to draw any, you know, nudity or genitalia or anything sexist or racist, but yeah, thanks for the uh, stick figure nudity. Uh. <laughs> the Nothing cowboy can blue. Stop these two. <laughs> Future theater majors, the champion of dorks. Two new fighters enter the ring. Okay, not Rufy. <laughs> One of them will be the champion of romantic fantasies. <laughs> champion of romantic fantasies. Get the ice pack ready. <laughs> not a Rufy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll declare a winner after this next match. The champion of job interviews. This is pure. The trainers have a decision to make. <laughs> Bam! Right in the face. Come on! Come on! The roof beat good. out Donald Trump for job interviews. Wow. Here's our next matchup. You will decide Domino Solo or Pete's the Hut. Champion of <laughs> Pete's the Hut. He ate himself. The tides are turning. We're witnessing an absolute threat. This next contest could swing things. The champion of having it all. Will the players tag out? Let's find out. <laughs> Harry Potter and the missing paycheck. <laughs> all right, go, go, go. Vote, vote, vote. It's mayhem down in the draw ring. Yeah, Pizza the Hut. <laughs> he ate himself. <laughs> <laughs> and the cheese stands alone. <laughs> it's time for our next bout. Who is a champion of Tinseltown? <laughs> Cancel culture. <laughs> It all comes down to this next match. The champion of yesterday's news. <laughs> well, that, 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 that's a kid. <laughs> Let's see. I was going to say, that's cancel culture win right there. Yesterday's news. That's incredible. <laughs> Call the sack king. That's a good drawing of Jack. Um, I dare you Jack to name Skellington, a more by the iconic way. duo. Here are the next two fighters. <laughs> One of them will be <laughs> the champion of public freakouts. <laughs> Video recording or Carinator. Oh, what a huge blow! Can they counter? <laughs> Yeah, I know I kicked myself in the butt after you. Yeah. Now they'll be battling for this title. The champion of having strong opinions about anime. <laughs> <laughs> decision time. <laughs> CNN. This is getting interesting. <laughs> CNN. A solo victory. What a feat. Okay, folks, that was the final match. The judges are tallying the final scores and... We have a winner. All right, definitely end.
All right. Say hi in chat for us, definitely, N. And uh, you get to pick the next Jackbox game. Uh, we got Jackbox 3 through 8, or we can do... Uh, definitely not a psychopath. Hey! Um, uh, definitely not a psychopath. What game would you like to play next in the Jackbox Party Pack? Or we could play Riff Tracks. Um, yeah, we can play uh, Jackbox Party Pack 3 through 8, or we can do Riff Tracks the game. It's up to you. Job Job, we can definitely do Job Job. Alright, let me bring that up. Let me, uh... Let me quit out of this, and I will bring up Job Job. Okay, that was that was the new party pack, and we're gonna get party pack nine tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna pre-order it. Uh, let me bring it up here. It was party pack eight. Yep. Okay. Okay, give me a second here. So where's the beard cannot handle the power? Um, it was too scruffy. Um, like it, it wasn't growing in all the way. Like there was like one half it was like not growing in, and then the other was like full. Uh, it was it was this side of the face that wasn't growing in all the way, but the other like this half was. So, but it looked weird. So, okay, let's get the room going. Uh, okay. Mm. All right, here we go. Maybe try a goatee. Eh, no thanks. I tried a goatee once. It didn't didn't work out. It was. It felt like a like a light porn star uh, goatee. If you were the first person to log in, you'll start the game when everyone's ready. Okay. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, we got people in. Uh, anybody else want to join in? We got... One, two, three, four, five spots. Alright. I'm kind of having a tough day because I just found out that birds aren't real. Birds aren't real, they're just nature's drones. Um, yeah, so, okay, five spots going once. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else want to join? <laughs> Shrum. Honestly, I don't care for nuts and baked goods. Same here, honey. All right. Five spots going twice. Anybody? 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 Anybody else want to join in? Hey. If there's too All many right. of you, some of you can be in the audience. I promise it's just as thrilling. Okay. Explain the game real quick. Okay, um, so this is just like Quiplash, but you have to write out, uh, 
you have to write out a couple sentences, and then you pick the words from the sentences to fill out uh, to fill out answers to job questions. I'm sneaking out early for a massage. Gotta get these kinks out of my. And yeah, once you once you write the sentences, then you pick out the words from those sentences, and then you you fit you uh, you answer questions with the words from those sentences. Oh yeah, I just like this, but let's have fun. Okay, uh, three spots, or five spots going three times a later. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Last minute, last minute, get on in here, get on in here, and we are gonna have some fun tonight. Anybody in chat? Anybody else in chat? Alright, let's get started. Welcome, potential hires. We're thrilled you've applied for this exciting employment opportunity. If you haven't guessed, I'm the boss around here, but I like to think of myself more as a buddy. A boss buddy. Water? Someone will get that. I can tell you're all great candidates. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of you and only one job. It's incredibly stressful for me. That's why I developed a revolutionary new hiring process. I'm going to interview you all at once and force you to judge each other. Whew, I feel more relaxed already. Deborah, clear my calendar. It's time to get to know our candidates. My first rule of management, I only hire my dearest, closest friends. So let's get to know each other. Okay. Uh, prompts on your device now. Okay, I got my answers in. You got less than 30 seconds to get all yours in. Finish your answer before time runs out. Okay. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Smith, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we, okay. All right, now we'll just file your answers. Now 
now that we're pals, I'm sending some tough but fair interview questions to your device. Now this is where you pick the words out of, uh... Uh... This is where you pick the words out and you compile an answer. Jeez, okay, I got my answers in. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> it's for closers. Alright, definitely not a psychopath. Less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see him. What does loyalty mean to you? Loyalty mean to you? Okay, like two I more girls. One of these is than the other, but <laughs> I've test, played so much video games, I intensely <laughs> ejaculate all over. Oh boy. You get extra points for using other people's words. Cause that's close to your heart. <laughs> Bad splash splash, please. <laughs> Bunny sleeping. Uh... <laughs> from three different people is worth a bonus. <laughs> okay. How do you know you're too sick to come into work? <laughs> I did bunnies, that's why I'm sick. Too sick to work, just sleep for 16 hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you grab words from the question. You can use just about any text you see on your device. Thank you. What's the biggest thing you'd bring to our company culture? <laughs> A good idea like lava ejaculation boom. Holocaust <laughs> chicken deluxe sandwich. That's what 
I'll be saying every day to the one of you who gets the job. Let's see who the front runner is. Let's see, let's see. Unholy cookie. Looks right to me, but I'll forward it to my buddies in accounting. Meanwhile, how about some more icebreakers? Green gum? Okay, same as before. Respond any way you want. Just don't skimp on the details. Put some meat on those word bones. Okay. Stevens, it's time for an office treat. I just placed an order for a milkshake, and everyone can have a sip. Okay, got my answers in. Uh, there are some great words of wisdom here, yeah. Uh, resourcefulness, whatever <laughs> it is possible. Alright, waiting on Rab. Let's, there we go, okay. This is exactly what I hoped each of you would say. <laughs> Round two of questioning. This time, I want to know how you would handle some tough workplace scenarios. Okay. <laughs> okay, my, my answers were pretty short but funny. Hey, you. You're halfway through the timer. Okay. About 50 seconds left. Okay, what the hell was that? 
She just vomited, <laughs> vomited water on a potting plant. <laughs> when you, <laughs> your bachelors. Okay, waiting on Rab. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Down. Weird hypothetical. What would you tell the feds if they started investigating our business practices? <laughs> Vote on your devices now. Blue Kessler's are bad wiring. Need to re <laughs> I make legal cocaine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this round, winning answers boost your score even more. You're on a 72 hour business trip. Nope, I'm married with two kids. Coworker. How do you keep yourself sane? <laughs> You're on a 72 hour business trip with your chatty's co work. How do you keep yourself sane? Roman cities to make fun of her as well as sleeping with people. <laughs> sleep with old people. Uh. Okay. Oh. two HRs, a mommy HR and a daddy HR. How should we decide which one gets custody of you? <laughs> I get custody, I eat mommy and daddy. <laughs> okay. Creative brainstorm spirals out of control. How do you get everyone back to reality? <laughs> two dollars, two dollar milk and cookies. <laughs> two dollar milks. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, so good. Of your big report is missing. What do you tell your manager? <laughs> you want to go whiskey? Finny allowed to wear cookies to Don Flow Job. You should put on his facial rod. These are both good. <laughs> <laughs> that They're so good. You all did equally well. Just kidding. Let's look at the scores. Oh my god, this is so good. I'll be sending you a short survey about this interview after we finish up. Feel free to be brutal. I don't read them. Now, how about one last icebreaker? Don't overthink it. Just put down whatever enters your mind. Unless you're thinking about salad. <laughs> no one's thinking about salad. All right. Peace. Okay, got mine in. I'm here to inform you that you've used half of your time. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, here we go. This is your orientation, by the way. Okay. It's the final round, and it appears we're missing something. Your resumes. Probably my fault. I thought they were junk mail.
time is up. Okay, got mine in. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> I can find a hook hooker in escape room. I cannot love the police bringing meth. Okay. Find a hooker in the escape room. <laughs> in the final round, impressing your peers nets you an even bigger bonus. We've got an odd number of candidates, so I'm putting our top three together. Okay, who, who, who wins? Who, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? That was pretty good. Did great, but one of you did greater est. Oh wow, somebody lost points. Okay. All right, Volpino, you win. The job goes to. Congratulations, you're our new organizer of intellectual jibs and jabs. Welcome to the team! Oh, and Laura, you're fired. What? <laughs> yeah, 47, 500 a year. Alright, Volpina. What game would you like to play next? We can do any game that you want. Jackbox 3 through 8 or Rift Tracks? Rift Tracks, okay. We we can do riff tracks definitely. Um, okay. In order to play that game, you need to go here. Everybody needs to go there. Riff tracks that games. So give me a second, and we'll get it set up. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Going to do riff tracks the game. Okay. Alrighty. Now, you go to that website, rifttracks.games, you log in with your Twitch account, you, li you link your Twitch account to rifttracks.games, just like Jackbox. Uh, it works just like Jackbox, it's the same Welcome thing. Welcome to Rift Tracks, the game. Okay, let's check the, uh... Okay. Uh, yep, 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 everything's good. Okay. Code is boom. Okay. All right. 
There we go. Uh, you go to rifttracks.games. Uh, you link your Twitch account, just like jackbox.tv. And then, uh, when we get everybody in, we will, uh, we'll start. Okay. We got space for one more. Okay. Does anybody need an explanation of this game? Because what you do is there's going to be a, a, a small movie clip. That movie clip has uh, missing audio. You write in the dialogue for the missing audio. And then we play it back with your audio. And then the one with the best, uh, the one with the best line. With, uh, you know, we vote, on, we vote on the best line, or the funniest line, or the, you know, whatever. And that one gets points. So, alright. Almost a full house for this one. Uh, one spot going once. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? One spot going twice. Anybody else? Anybody else in chat want to join in? Okay. Uh. Okay. One spot going three times a lady. Anybody else? Anybody else? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. We're waiting. Okay, we're gonna start, because here we go. Hello, aspiring rippers. In each round of writer riff mode, a movie clip will play. Every clip has a spot to write your own joke or riff, as we call it. If you're stuck, you can choose a randomly assigned riff from one of our own professional comedy professionals at a slight point deduction. Everyone's riffs are played back and you vote for your favorite. At the end of all the rounds, the player with the most points wins. Round one. Whoa, Mo! Come on, big boy. Here. Whoa, Mo! Come on, big boy. Here. Are you the next top riffer? Enter your riff. So that, that, that clip was from a movie called Miami Connection. Uh, it was made locally a couple, um, like, years ago, like, back in the 80s. And it was all about Florida and uh, Orlando, and then, yeah. Great, now I have to flee the country again. <laughs> Winner of the Village People Tryouts. <laughs> I can kick that guy's ass and then do this impression of Forrest Gump. <laughs> Damn you, Joe Exotic. I'm saving you from peril. <laughs> Hold 
Holy shit, is that real? A R Y O U U U K I N. The rifts are in. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, the, the, the Tiger King Rockman's got me. Well played, good Riffer. The round is yours. <laughs> These were good. Yes, they were. <laughs> Redeemed hydrate. Okay, hang on. There we go. Okay, there we go. Yep. 60, se 60 seconds left. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Damn, these edibles suck. That dumpster clown sold me shit edibles. <laughs> I wonder if I pop your skull open if nothing will be in there. Finish him. <laughs> nothing was left on a balloon pot. Funny, balloon is the name of my father who went to go get milk and cigs three years ago. <laughs> nothing was left on a balloon pot. That is not what the fish that choked on it said. <laughs> nothing's what's left on a balloon pot. And nothing's what's gonna be left of you else you shut up, Jimmy. Okay, we all had a good laugh. Now time to vote. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh... <laughs> the Mortal Kombat bit. That got me. Oh, I'm just so proud of you. Unholy Cookie's winning. <laughs> Round three. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Time to bring the funny. Enter your riff now.
Okay, got mine in. Waiting on Reb and unholy. There we go. Okay. Hey, what's happening? We were getting our pussies warmed up for you so we can have a threesome. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's happening? Jural, we just lit some candles, charged our crystals, and dishwashed our toys. You're just in time for the action. <laughs> Everything about lesbians. Hey, what's happening? Has the hot lesbian orgy started yet? I invited Greg over. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Finish him. A S D A S A G G G G H H G A A. Finish him. Her mom. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, what's happening? About to get ready for Lesbo Centipede. <laughs> Everything's about Watch lesbians. your favorites? <laughs> Where is everything about lesbians? Unholy cookie, stop winning. Stop winning, please. <laughs> we have a family. Round four. Later that day, David's little sister Lori was upset because her crying doll wouldn't cry. <laughs> Later that day, David's little sister Lori was upset because her crying doll wouldn't cry. You've seen the clip? <laughs> now enter your rift. <laughs> yeah. Uh These just these are all really good by the way. Yeah, and please remember the um the uh Texas speech playback isn't super accurate, so you have to you have to play along to the Texas speech. I mean, I get the whole finish him thing was was funny, but like the uh, the text of speech didn't do it correctly. Later that day, David's little sister Lori was upset because her crying doll wouldn't cry. Quick, someone orgasm in her eye. <laughs> Later that day. David's little sister Lori was upset because her crying doll wouldn't cry. Maybe if mom stopped taking the batteries out of the doll for her dildo, we would not have this problem. <laughs> Later that day, David's little sister Lori was upset because her crying doll wouldn't cry. Hi, I am Molly. Please choke me to make me and talk to me dirty in order to make me cry. <laughs> Later that day, David's little sister Lori was upset because her crying doll wouldn't cry. Little did she know her brother banged that box so hard it broke. <laughs> Later that day, David's little sister Lori was upset because her crying doll wouldn't cry. So she rubbed sand into its eyes and then murdered its family to make it cry. <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's, that's dark. These are rough. Yeah, this one's a little bit rough. <laughs> 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 
the, the, the mom the battery one. That got me, though. Know. <laughs> Might be a champion riffer in the making. Yes! This is so good. Okay, riffers. It's the final round. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wise for someone to stay behind and guard the ship? I don't think anybody will take it. Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be wise for someone to stay behind and guard the ship? I don't think anybody will take it. Okay. Take a deep breath and enter your rift. Okay, got mine in. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be wise for someone to stay behind and guard the ship? I don't think anybody will take it. Are you a fucking moron, Kevin? We are on the fucking moon. <laughs> right? Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be wise for someone to stay behind and guard the ship? I don't think anybody will take it. We'll be fine. We're playing Grand Theft Auto 6 on the moon with gravity disabled. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be wise for someone to stay behind and guard the ship? I don't think anybody will take it. Who would want to miss out on some hot alien action? <laughs> Earth girls are easy. Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be wise for someone to stay behind and guard the ship? I don't think anybody will take it. You know Mulder and Scully are around, so don't be stupid. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be wise for someone to stay behind and guard the ship? I don't think anybody will take it. It's infested with bedbugs anyways. Plus, it's painted with a giant confederate flag. Oh! oh yeah. Time to vote. Oh, the X Files one. That got me. That that's good. <laughs> well, look at you. I bet you had a good breakfast. All right, and who won? The winner is Unholy Cookie. <laughs> uh, Remember, dominated no the whole losers. game. Only people who didn't win. Wow. Yeah, like by by a big margin. All right, let's see the titles. Rift tracks of the game. Who who's got the funny titles? <laughs> In between me, Bella Lugosi, <laughs> Volpita, Passerby, Cool Cool Barber, a Legend Man, <laughs> Blast Hard Cheese was definitely. <laughs> All right, Unholy Cookie. What game would you like to play next? We can play more of this, or we can play another game that you would like. Uh, Volpino, I'm sorry you were you were trying to be Bella Lugosi there. So, unhold the cookie. What game would you like to play next? It's up to you.
You can choose which game, or you can pass it off to the audience, or you can let me pick. Uh, Rab can pick. Okay, Rab, what would you like to do? Dealer's choice. Okay. Um, I do need to dip. Uh, I have work in the morning. It was fun, everyone. Have a good night. All right, Valpina, take care. Uh, we will see you uh, next time. And um, yeah, let's. Uh, we'll we'll do another round of this, but we'll we'll. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll make a new room. Okay. Let me get the room code going. And we can start. Okay, got a new room up. Here we go. Uh, KKNC. And I think after the, I think I'm gonna call it after this. I'm not sure yet, unless you guys want to keep playing. Okay, uh, we got two spots open. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody else gonna join in? Two spots going once. Anybody? 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 Two spots going twice. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody gonna join in? Anybody else? Anybody else? Alright, last call for alcohol. Anybody else wanna join in? Two spots going three times a lady. Anybody, 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 anybody? Anybody gonna join in? Have some fun with us, cause we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun riffing on bad movies all the time. Nobody else is gonna join, so let's get started right away. Hello, aspiring riffers. In each round of Writer Riff Mode, a movie clip will play. Every clip has a spot to write your own joke or riff, as we call it. If you're stuck, you can choose a randomly assigned riff from one of our own professional comedy professionals at a slight point deduction. Everyone's riffs are played back, and you vote for your favorite. At the end of all the rounds, the player with the most points wins. All right, let's start. Round one. It's go time, Mama Jama. Enter your rips now. Okay.
Wait on Unholy. Less than 50 seconds. I hope I set up the bomb correctly. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Look at that Santa bitch all sad and shit. Ice cream over dumb elf toy presents duh. King ice cream bunny. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Little did they know Santa left 10 pounds of C4 attached to the starter. <laughs> Frank Zappa's holiday sex dream. Got a favorite riff? Oh, yeah. oh the C4 one. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, God damn it, that holy good. Oh, good one, dude. That was so good. <laughs> Round two. Does it always smell like waffles? Um, no. Uh, follow me. We'll go outside. Okay. Does it always smell like waffles? Um, no. Uh, follow me. We'll go outside. Okay. Are you the next top riffer? Enter your riff. Does it always smell like waffles? Um, no. Uh, follow me, we'll go outside. Okay. A lady, there's a waffle house next door. <laughs> Does it always <laughs> smell like waffles? Um, no. Uh, follow me, we'll go outside. Okay. Waffles? Bitch, you're having a stroke. <laughs> Does it always smell like waffles? Um, no. Uh, Follow me, we'll go outside. Okay. I have waffles up my anus. We can go to the park and you take them out for me. <laughs> Does it always smell like waffles? Um, no. Uh, follow me, we'll go outside. Okay. The pool of syrup is where we're gonna shoot your scene. You okay with getting into a sticky situation? Time to pick the funniest riff! Oh, uh, good stuff. <laughs> right there. Don't get cocky. Right. Rad, that was a good one. Round that was a real good one. Three. Well, what do you think of it? Well, what do you think of it? You've seen the clip? Now enter your riff.
Okay. Waiting on definitely. Here we go. Well, what do you think of it? Not a bad place to open up Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, what do you think of it? I'm not going to fuck you on the lake day. Stop trying. <laughs> well, what do you think of it? It's a perfect place to film my next shoot. Just need to find a leather couch and five men in plain white shirts. <laughs> well, what do you think of it? Well, Chad, I think you brought me out here just to flick my bean and then feed me to alligators. I am so wet. Got a favorite riff? Vote now. Oh, uh, <laughs> Camp Crystal Lake. That was good. Oh, it's so good. Looking good. Oh my god. <laughs> Round four. Jeez. Oh, that don't beat all. Send you out for some venison and you come back. Leading a buffalo. Oh, that don't beat all. Send you out for some venison and you come back leading a buffalo. It's that time again. Enter your riff now. All right, waiting on Rabbit Unholy. God, that was funny. Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, jeez. That was, that was freaking amazing. I think Unholy's writing a novel. Got less than 15... Uh, er, yeah, 15 seconds. There we go. Oh, that don't beat all. Send you out for some venison and you come back leading a buffalo. Bestiality is not my kink. <laughs> oh, that don't beat all. Send you out for some venison and you come back leading a buffalo. I was hesitant on a deer hot dog, but a buffalo hot dog is gonna really destroy my insides. Oh, that don't beat all. Send you out for some venison and you come back leading a buffalo. Still less hair on this water buffalo than your nasty snack. <laughs> oh, that don't beat all. Send you out for some venison and you come back leading a buffalo. The buffalo beat my meat. Ooh. Time to pick the funniest riff. Vote now.
Okay. You're doing great! Unholy, oh my gosh! How are you so good at this? Okay, Rippers, it's the final round. Who are you? Who are you? Time to bring the funny. Enter your riff now. Okay. Got mine in, waiting on everybody else. Michael Jackson, kid, you better start running because I like a fighter. <laughs> My name is Ted Hitchcock, but it sounds like Ted Hitchcock. <laughs> So good. And the winner is <laughs> uh, so good. And we have a winner. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Another huge win, but God by a huge margin. Alright, let's see what the uh let's see what the titles are. Coffee Cup Breaker, that was me. Uh, Frisbee Player Uncredited was Rab. Dixie was definitely. Okay. Alright. Do um, you guys want to play another game or do you want to call it? Because I think I'm going to call it here. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll raid somebody else's channel. Yeah, I think we're going to call it here. Honestly. So, if you stick with me. Uh, different game. I want y'all to have a choice. Okay. But I think I'm going to call it. Honestly. Unholy, thank you for, uh, thank you for the uh, wins. Um, Rab, Volpina, thank you guys for joining in. Um, it's been fun. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to raid somebody. So let's see who we are going to raid. Uh, give me a second here, uh, I will be able to tell you. Uh, let's
let's see, let's see. Um Okay, we're going to we're going to raid my friend uh Tank. Uh he is playing Escape from Tarkov right now and um I'll be playing Escape from Tarkov on Thursday. So hopefully he can join me then. So all right, everybody go say hi to Tank and give him a big follow and uh go tell him I said hi and we were playing Jackbox. So uh and Rift Rex the game. So, all right, we'll see you guys later. We'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna hopefully play Divinity, uh, Original Sin. So, yep. See you guys later. Bye bye.